Fergus Fraser, played by Roman Baru, was first introduced to Outlander back in Season 2 when Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewen, caught the orphan pickpocketing him. However, the Highlander quickly enlisted the child's skills to serve as an informant and steal documents in a bid to thwart the Battle of Culloden and Bonnie Prince Charlie's, Andrew Gower, ambitions for the Scottish throne. In the end, Jamie and Claire Fraser, Katrina Balfe, took the boy in as their own with the Scot changing his name from Clodel to Fergus because he felt it was more masculine and Scottish after they returned to Lollybrock. Is Claire Fraser related to Fergus in Outlander? A grown-up Fergus, Caesar Domboy, has always been by Jamie's side, even after losing his hand to a group of cruel redcoats. Although he may be an adoptive son, Jamie and Claire see Fergus almost as one of their own children. This became particularly clear in season 6 when the couple showed him some tough love in the face of his alcoholism and the way had been treating his wife Marcelle, Lauren Lyle. Claire spoke to the young man, who was dealing with his guilt over her kidnapping and sexual assault in season 5. He was also dramatized and felt powerless after Marcelle was also attacked and rendered unconscious when Claire was abducted. Many fans are curious to know about Fergus' parentage with Diana Gabaldon's Outlander books shedding some light on his mother and father. In the novel An Echo and the Bone, Percy Beecham tells Lord John Gray, David Barry, he thinks Fergus' father may be the combed street. Jermaine, Stanley Weber, and his mother Amelie Beecham. The Comte and Amelie had an extramarital affair which caused scandal and she fell pregnant with a child thought to be Fergus. To add to the mystery, Amelie disappeared from her home one night with a stash of jewels and was never seen again. She was later rumored to have turned up in a Parisian brothel in the mid stages of pregnancy and later gave birth, but sadly she died of influenza with her son brought up in the establishment of ill repute. Amelie was apparently delivered there inside a heavy carpet the Comte had gifted to the brothel, which would suggest he was Fergus' father. While this illicit affair and Fergus' parentage in Outlander remains hearsay, author Gabaldon may later address this plot point. However, in a twist, it looks like Claire could be related Fergus if Amelie is his mother given her full name is Claire Beecham Randall Fraser. For the name Beecham to be both shared by Claire and other characters in Outlander seems more than a coincidence and the time traveler could in fact be a descendant of Fergus. Not much is known about Claire's parents in Outlander after she too ended up being orphaned at a young age when they died in a car crash. After refusing to attend boarding school, her guardian uncle Lamb, Brentus Hancock, who was a historian and archaeologist, took her on his various travels around the world. Her father was Henry Montmorency Beecham and her mother was Julia Morriston with Uncle Lamb also being a Beecham. On her father's side, her grandparents were David Joubert Beecham and Angela Bell but not much more is revealed about the Beecham family and their ancestry. There have even been theories Claire's parents didn't die but actually traveled through time to the past. To add another element, if Claire and Fergus are related by blood then he could also possibly be a time traveler like Brianna, Sophie Skelton, and Roger McKenzie, Richard Rankin. But not only this, the Combed is a time traveler and with the help of Master Raymond, Dominique Pignon, has traversed various eras including the 1630s. Gabaldon has previously stated on her site how Gayless Duncan, Lotta Verbeek, and Claire are actually related to Master Raymond, who is a shaman and time traveler as well. Outlander Season 7 is in production and Seasons 1 to 6 are streaming on Starsplay.